decided that I wanted to do a recreation of something I saw on Pinterest. I didn't look into it. I have no idea what she used to make this look. I have no idea who actually made this. I, this was just like a pin that I found. And I was like, let's recreate a Pinterest eye look without knowing exactly what they used just something that I like recreated and I mean she's really cute can't really tell because of my bangs uh, let's just sit down and film it because why the hell not everything that I used I will list down below for my face and for my eyes if you want to see how I created this lovely eye look right here then just go ahead and keep on watching oh and also if you like this video go ahead like comment and subscribe and if you want share it that would be amazing so yeah let's go ahead and start with the eye look hi oh wow focus focus camera anyways good morning you all wow she's looking raw I can get it done with like this color or not this color this color right here and like this color and possibly this color or not that yeah so we'll see we'll see what happens 242 just a little fluffy brush love this brush got it like a while ago when these first came out so we're gonna make this work a little sip of coffee oh and I wanted to do my brows kind of like hers where they're like the super like Instagram brow go into auto which is like that yellowish orangey color and use that as my transition and hopefully oh and I do have a base on I have um max soft ochre paint pot so just still dipping into it, building up this color. I'm not trying to go crazy, so I'm just kind of flaring that out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know if you can see all that, but then I'm going to take another brush with nothing on it and then just kind of blend out those edges. So I don't want any more color, so. I think the eyeliner is gonna be the hardest for me because I don't have like a nice crease probably like she does. And a lot of the time when I put eyeliner into my crease, when I open my eyes, it's like completely lost. So I have to like put it literally either right above, or I have to put it in my crease and then only people, like you can only see it when I close my eyes or look down. So, now just to blend out these edges on this side, I'm going to take, actually, do I have one? I'm going to take one of, I like this guy from the Wet n Wild collection that they had at Walgreens. And then I'm going to go into um, Izafa, which is this red color right here. It's like a reddish, like a burgundy color. And I'm just going to do that on the outer edge and I'm not going to do so much blending at first. kind of just want to pack on this color because we have a lot of blending to do. And then I do turn over turn the brush over to kind of feather out these edges lord help me so if you see a patch on my eye that's my eye it's not the shadow and it's not the soft ochre paint pot it's literally my eye it doesn't like to take color right there oh and my dog's underneath me Lovely. Just softly blend out. It's okay if it's a little messy because I'm going to like clean everything up. So 
She's looking like Ronald McDonald. Okay, so now with the first brush, dip into that yellow a little bit to kind of just like soften the edges of the spread. Packing brush. I don't know what brush this is. Don't know where it came from. I'm going into Bintu, which is like this um, like burgundy shade. Hopefully... I can make this look work. If not, then I just like completely failed. Oh yeah, look, failing, failing miserably. I'm just packing that right on the lid and then I'm gonna go up and outward, blend it out into the crease. I'm just packing every, that color, that Bintu color on, and just packing it in, packing it in. It's going to look funny on this outer edge for me because I, it doesn't matter. Okay, so this is a dirty brush, but it's like this brownish color. No, I don't want to use that actually. I want to use, I'm just going to use one of these old ass um, brushes from like an Urban Decay palette that I had. And that Bintu color, I'm just going to kind of start feathering it up and outward because that's kind of the general shape that that color had and now I'm taking this up into the crease and blending this outward so kind of just like fades into each other this has so much fallout right now and now I'm just kind of like blending out this inner corner because it's really diffused with this brush which doesn't really have anything on it it's just stained from when I blended shit out oh look I got an email and now that that packing brush I'm just taking up into the like up and above the crease I know that looks really gnarly and harsh but we're gonna blend her out And then with the empty brush, with the empty brush, there's nothing on this brush. We're just going to kind of diffuse these edges because she has color like pretty high up. I'm just trying to get that shape a little bit more. I'm definitely like no James Charles, but I mean it fucks with a lot of things pretty hard. Okay. Ooh, she's looking kind of a mess. But that's okay. That's okay. Sometimes we have to trust the process. I'm going to try to do the eyeliner off the camera. And then I will be back. Because if I try to do it on here with you guys, I'm... Well. You know what? Let me do the other eye. And I'll do the eyeliner on this side. And then I'll, on camera I'll do this side. Be back. Holy crap. Okay. So... Here is what I have so far. It was one, a pain in the butt. Two, I do not have the same eye shape as the girl in the picture, so I kind of had to like make my own. Um, so I'm just using the Razor Sharp Liner from Urban Decay in Gold Rush. I swear to God, dog. Okay, so you guys can't see it, but my dog Charlie is underneath my desk by my feet. And he just moved. So so we're gonna gonna make this work. Three fourths in on my eyeball oh this is coming out bad that's okay you're just gonna keep working work through this shape it get that line in there trying to match it up with the other side girl
So, on the picture, she has like more of a dip on the outside. I didn't do that crazy of a dip, at least I tried not to. Just for my particular eye shape. Like I said, I have no idea what she used. I didn't look into it. All I did... Oh, thanks for farting, dog. All I did was snapshot the picture. Oh, hey, look, it's not looking, like, terribly uneven. Am I happy with it? Sure. And I did not... I did not practice this before I started uh, recording. Like I just snapchatted, or snapchatted, I just snapshot and was like, let's do this eye. Focus. Yeah, she's cute. Oh, it's Aquarius. Oh my gosh, I'm a mess. Okay, well, the label was on the outside of the blocks and it's right here. Aquarius. I'm an idiot. My Lash XO Lash Glue. This is supposed to be a House of Lashes dupe glue. I found it on Amazon. I got like a package of two for like eight bucks or nine bucks or ten bucks or I'll put it down below, whatever. So I put the glue on my lash. And now, while we're waiting for that to kind of dry, I'm going to go in with my, uh, my MAC Giggle Laugh. Sorry if I found... Sorry if, <laughs> Sorry if I sound crazy. I think I'm starting to get sick. So I apologize for my voice fry. And then I'm just looking down into my mirror. Really? Hold on. Someone's calling me. Dang it. Hello, marketer. For freaking health insurance. Get out of here. Anyways. I thought it was for something else. For this eyesight. Ugh. I had to cut it again. Gosh dang it. I have one eye that's like slightly longer. I think this is like the best we're gonna get with these lashes. Yeah, that works. Whatever. I'll figure it out. Okay, so I'm going to do the rest of my face off camera and I will be right back. Now that I'm back, I finished off my eyes off the camera. All I did was Makeup Forever um, Gold Eyeliner. And then I took the darkest red, which is Bintu, and then just like on the lower lash line kind of diffused it. And then I went in with my Giggle Lash for my... Um, my MAC Giggle Lash for my mascara and then for my inner corner highlight I went in with MAC's Oh Darling finish the, my face and then come back this is the finished look I want to say that it did pretty well like this was the picture that I found off of Pinterest my phone is disgusting so here is the picture, and here is my recreation. Like, I mean, I think I did pretty good considering that I have no idea what she used. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. You know what the deal is. Have a great day.